फ्रेंड्स जुकिनी और स्क्वास इज ए वेरी नाइस एक्जोटिक वेजिटेबल यू कैन ग्रो इजिली दिस इज वेरी वेरी कॉस्टली वेजिटेबल and you can eat it raw or if you want you can make it curry and you can grow it easily in your home you don't have to spend much money for buying this zucchini in your home so just uh, follow some of the tips how to grow zucchini in your home and uh, if you want you can grow directly or can grow uh, uh, after transplanting the seeds are very very fresh you see and these kinds of packets are available 30 to 40 rupees each packet and i am tearing out and uh, taking out the seeds just to show you how the seeds look like the seeds are just look like uh, like pumpkin type and the plants also leaves also look like pumpkin but miniature pumpkin plant look like and uh, after uh, about 60 to 70 days you can harvest uh, this zucchini from here and uh, for uh, sowing the seeds i am taking chali that is flat uh, pot around taking 50% this cocopeat and 50% is leaf mold if you can manage some leaf mold you can grow or else you can grow in 50% garden soil and 50% vermi compost or cow dung compost that would be okay for growing the seeds and now i am showing you and uh, this is taking out the seeds from here and in one packet there are around i see there are around 15 seeds are here so these are enough for your kitchen garden if you grow in pots or if you can grow in soil directly you can grow but uh, i advise you to grow in 8 inch pot or 10 inch pot one plant per pot or if you want you can grow directly in pot also but here i am uh, growing the seedlings first then i will transplant after 15 days i will transplant the seedlings to a bigger pot around 10 inch pot if you want you can grow directly in pots in that case you sow two seeds per pot because uh, always all the seeds do not uh, germinate always so uh, without taking chance you sow two seeds per pot but uh, here i am just tapping slightly with light handed and after that i'll uh, spray water on it apply water on it and uh, let the water soak properly i'll keep it in semi shade area for a couple of days and uh, in 5 to 6 days time they will germinate and i'll show you the all the development of whenever their seedlings are growing they are developing and each time and after 5 to 6 days i am uh, pushing down the seeds that are floating upside so this is the easiest thing you can grow easily in your home one thing only you have to control the fungus because they are uh, sometimes uh, this uh, fungus attacks the plants so that only you have to grow so let it grow and i'll show you the updates friends this is the update after 6 days you can see the two leaves beautiful fresh two leaves and after six days these are seeds all some of the seeds are germinated some are still to germinate welcome back friends this is after eight days you see all the seeds are germinated two or three are still germinating and let the plants grow then we will transplant them friends this is the 14th day and you can see the all the plants are grown now the plants can be transplanted in a proper pot So friends this is the 15th day and the plants are ready to be transplanted and here i can see around 10 plants are here so you have to take out the uproot the plant uh, from the base and uh, make sure there are no roots is broken so no root is damaged and here i'm garden soil i'm taking 60% garden soil 30% compost and in that i will add 10% river sand this is the coarse yellow river sand and uh, that will add the drainage to the soil that is a uh, well drained soil to make i am adding little bit of uh, this uh, river sand if you have some uh, alluvial soil then you may not add this uh, river sand so i am mixing it properly and for proper fungus control i am adding trichoderma viridi trichoderma viridi is organic fungicide i will add 1 teaspoon full here trichoderma viridi so that there is no uh, fungal infection uh these kinds of some uh, uh, white powder the fungus is attacked here so i am applying this uh, uh, trichoderma vidd this is organic fungicide different brands are available you can use any kind of brand of this trichoderma vidd 1 teaspoon full will be enough now i am filling up this is the some earthen pot 10 inch pot i am filling around 5 inch i will be filling soil here and after that i will be transplanting the plant here just see just follow how i am transplanting how i am uprooting the plant just from the base and make sure no roots is broken 
just uh, push down at the base at the at the top base and then take out the plant very very gently so this is very very gently if you break the root then plant will be dying so here i am uh, filling up the soil here and after filling up the soil water it properly and keep it in semi shade area for a couple of days then you can keep it in uh, uh, three to four hours sunlight and then after that you can keep it in full sunlight so this is the plants now i am watering it and uh, since i am watering it fast i'll water it uh, uh, full and after that i'll water in uh, after two to the three days gap i'll water it and uh, make sure the moisture is maintained and within uh, 20 days will the plants will grow and in 70 days time you can harvest these kinds of zucchini or squash and they comes in different colors so any color any brand you can grow hope you enjoyed the video if you like please like and share thank you very much